How's it going everyone? Chris here with Simply Nuck. Now, 2023 is drawing to a close, so it's time to start looking ahead. Today, we're gonna to be talking about all those computing trends that we're excited about in 2024. That's artificial intelligence, edge computing, automation, robotics, cybersecurity, bioinformatics, and a bunch of other huge words that are sure to come up repeatedly, so pay very close attention. Now, to help me talk about this topic, we're bringing in Ryan McCandless, our brand new Chief Revenue Officer. So let's bring him in. So welcome, Ryan. Great to be here, Chris. I've loved watching your videos on YouTube. Oh. Uh, it's great to be part of Simply Knock, and I'm really excited about the future ahead for Compute Solutions. That's perfect, because that's why I brought you here today, is to talk about what's on the horizon for technology in 2024. So let's just jump right in. What are you most excited about in the upcoming year? There's so much to be excited about. AI, of course. That's on everybody's lips and, and nobody quite knows how far that's going to change all of society. Yeah. But in 2024, uh, on top of that, there's 5G, there's Wi-Fi 7, uh, a lot of um, you know, movement on green. And I'm really, really excited about green technologies and you know, the ability to refurb and reutilize data. I think it's really important from a technology point of view that we're we're all taking responsibility for that, whether it's um, recycling or reusing our kits, or whether it's just taking down redundant or, or zombie servers mm -hmm. and making sure the power and cooling that's required for that yeah. is not excessive. And of course, our technologies are now being rack mounted and, and able to use as many servers, mm -hmm. uh, and the power and cooling um, required for that is not as much as it might be for other solutions. So I'm excited about many things, but those are some of the highlights. So you mentioned a little bit, you said AI. Yeah. AI has been huge in my mind in 2023. It's yeah. been kind of everywhere. Uh, there's been a lot of turmoil recently with uh, Sam Altman at OpenAI getting ousted and then getting put right back in yeah. and all of that going on. So there's, there's just a lot going on with AI right now. So what do you think is going to be the big thing for AI in 2024? I think in, in, certainly in 2023, People are excited about AI and, and they've been adopting them to try and find where the best use cases are. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be pervasive in 2024. I think people are making plans saying we can't go forward without adopting AI and making use of it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to probably go right across most industries, embracing it to some certain extent. Automation and the ability to automate processes with AI mm -hmm. is, is, I think, going to really drive uh, a lot of AI solutions in the industry. I think that the, the, the good thing for uh, Simply Knock and Compute Solutions is that, that drives the compute requirement to the edge. So yeah. using and adopting those large language models, uh, which are which are generally cloud-based and having the, the automated solutions at the edge is, is a great answer for industry uh, and, and an opportunity for us. You mentioned automation. Yeah. And automation is huge right now. What do you think is going to be a big breakthrough for automation in 2024? Yeah, I think we've talked about IoT for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, we've tried to adopt the Internet of Things and connected devices. I think the layer of AI enables that even further. Yeah. So actually, that can probably complete the vision that we had for IoT possibly even 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that automated process and connecting devices, and, and especially in industrial manufacturing, how do we take those automated processes that we've been trying to drive for years mm -hmm. and really have them end to end? Yeah. So you think next year the pieces are all going to kind of finally fit? Because I know I've heard about IoT for, like you said, 10 years. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Uh, I know that there was even like blockchain built around IoT. Yeah. But you think next year, just with the use of AI and everything, that's when automation really like blossoms and comes together. I feel like AI was the missing piece, mm -hmm. you know, because as you say, we've been we've been talking about it for so long, uh, and it's been such a big opportunity to connect billions of devices. Mm -hmm. How do we um, automate that process of uh, onboarding them, configuring them, delivering tasks, delivering reports, outputs, failure rates, all of the things that we really want to for for connected devices to deliver for us without human intervention. Yeah. So you mentioned, you know, billions of computers talking to each other. Unprecedented amounts of data are about to start flying around. I mean, there's already an insane amount of data flying around the globe at really fast speeds. But with all that data comes a need for securing that data, right? Yeah. So 
I've read a lot about how edge computing could be a solution for cybersecurity in those types of situations. Where do you think edge computing fits in cybersecurity in 2024? Yeah, sure. So I suppose the simple logic is the, the, the less we have our data out there flying around, so mm -hmm. to speak, uh, the better. Edge computing being that control layer uh, where, where it's, it's within our grasp, it's at the source for, mm -hmm. for most companies to own their own data, yeah. um, reduces the risk. I think that uh, we've been using cloud solutions to deliver cybersecurity uh, for, for a long time now, and I think that the, the, those solutions need to move to the edge. Uh, so that we're, we feel more in control rather than all of our data being centralized. I think that vulnerability level of all of our data in the cloud poses a risk that we're not quite sure of, mm -hmm. whereas the, the controllable element is having it at the edge with, within our grasp. Yeah, and also from what I've read, a lot of cybersecurity issues come from not necessarily someone breaching, say, the cloud, but it's when the data is in transit that it's yeah. most vulnerable. And yeah. So then if it's centrally located, everyone has to send back and forth to that one place as opposed to having it at the edge. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's just from what I've gathered from my my brief. Well, I suppose the, 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 the less it travels around, yeah. uh, the less vulnerability we have. There's, there's a certain logic there where uh, having all of our data out there mm -hmm. flying around is likely more vulnerable and the more we can control it. Um, and I think we can do that a lot better now because the compute solutions at the edge mm -hmm. are much more significant. Yeah. Um, they're much more cost effective. They're much more impactful. Uh, and I think what we'll see is the, the, the cyber companies actually delivering those cloud-based solutions designed for edge security anyway. Yeah. I think, you know, based on everything that we discussed here, I think 2024 is looking pretty bright. I think it looks very exciting. Yeah, for sure. Um, was there anything else you wanted to add? Anything I didn't ask you about that? I think. Uh, as a company, we're really excited about where our product set sits right now, mm -hmm. about the solutions that we can deliver mm -hmm. for edge compute for our clients, especially for the large clients in the enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to deliver those compute solutions at the edge and solve their problems, we love talking to them about that. And yeah. we're really excited about how we can do that more with our clients and our partners in the 2024. Yeah, well, I think we're probably gonna have lots of opportunities to do that with everything going on. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.